at last in the canoe. I am both bag of water and air. Pour my weight into one sit bone to shift the balance of the boat. Steady my breath. Lean slightly back and paddle strongly through riffle and low grade rapids. Riffle, a section of broken water, tiny wavelets. Riffle, to shuffle a deck of cards. To canoe a river is always a gamble, never the same journey twice. River, the name for the last card in a poker game. Go with the flow, they say, in a voice with too much free air. A riverbank activity, seen but not experienced, suggesting easeful effort. Advice from a canoeist. You need to put power in. You need to move, not just be moved, to maintain balance and direction. It may look like the river flows round a boulder, but be in the water. Feel the river's musculature flex. Feel the living being around and beneath you and know that water pounds against that boulder. According to the poet Ted Hughes, Tor simply meant water. According to other people, Tor means the silent one or the silent calm river. <laughs> Clearly none of these people have been up to see the Tor on Dartmoor. Urquil disputes Tor meaning the silent one and prefers a different etymological route and arrives at the strong powerful one or the powerful river which seems much more appropriate but perhaps both are correct depending where you are on the tour. Urquil goes on to explain names that originally meant river or water or the winding one or the silent one were given to rivers of importance and maybe replaced earlier names that had become taboo. Perhaps too sacred to be spoken. So what is the Tor's hidden name?